How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. I need to talk to you. I, I just got done working out, but I need to come with a hidden gem stock. Now, this is a Bitcoin miner. I've talked about on the channel before. I would normally take a shower and do a video after this, but I want to get this out to you as soon as possible. I know some people will be going to bed around the time this is uploaded, but this is a stock that I think you need to jump on quick. The reason is it's got so many catalysts and they just reported earnings. And I'll be honest with you, they're really good. So they are really good earnings. I think, you know, looking at the earnings, it reminds me how strong of a company this is. And I already knew that. I've been adding and adding and adding over the last couple months. A lot of people in our Patreon have been adding and adding. But I want to bring it to your attention again because Wall Street doesn't love this one yet, but they're going to. I can tell you that much. So, of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I do appreciate the like button. Also, there is a link down there to Weeble in case you want some free stocks. Support the channel, get some free money, move that money over to the stock today if you want. Uh, so definitely check that out. All you have to do is deposit $100. There's also a link down there to the Patreon to see exactly when I buy and sell stocks just like this one because you have seen me buying it over and over and over. And maybe it would get in your head that, hey, maybe I should take a look at this one if you haven't done this already. I have been buying this. Like I said, I actually thought about buying some call options on it. I'm still considering it, honestly, uh, a couple years out because I'm pretty bullish on this thing. The reason I didn't buy call options was because my money didn't settle yet, unfortunately, but I was going to buy some call options for this one because I am very bullish and I've never bought call options before, but this just seemed irrational how low this was falling. Now, it is moving up after hours. So depending on what app you're looking at, here on Google, CLSK says that it's up about 6%. If you look on Yahoo Finance, it says that's up like 8%. On Webull, it says it's up 10%. So there are some buys that happened right in the last minute, I think, that aren't showing up on all these different platforms. But we're looking at CleanSpark today. And before you click off, because some people just don't want to hear about CleanSpark. I don't know why, because they had killer numbers here that I want to talk to you about. We need to take a look at it. So Bitcoin has been going up a lot. If you don't know about CleanSpark yet, because I'm sure this will reach some people that have never heard about it. If you don't know about CleanSpark, they were an energy company that went and acquired a Bitcoin mining company last year. They've done a capital raise. They're in a very good position on their balance sheet. And I'll show you that here in a second. But their current ratio is like 15. So their, their current uh, liabilities are less than 10 million and they have over 150 million of cash. They have Bitcoin on their balance sheet. They've been mining Bitcoin. They're holding a majority of their Bitcoin still on their balance sheet. And they actually had a positive net income quarter. I believe it's their first one. So over the quarter, we have to take a look at Bitcoin because obviously most of their revenue actually comes from Bitcoin at this point. So at the beginning of January, Bitcoin was under 30,000. It went all the way up throughout the end of the quarter to almost exactly 100% of that. It went up 99% over the quarter. Since then, it's pretty much stayed stagnant from the end of March 31st to now. So we have... Bitcoin revenue right in the middle there. I think halfway through the month, it was around 50,000 to 40,000. So right in that range. So obviously this quarter should actually be better, but we have them growing uh, revenue quite quickly, partly because of Bitcoin going up in price, but partly because they're acquiring more miners. And we'll get into that in a second because there is some news on that. They're going to increase revenues dramatically. So three month revenue increased 122% to 8.1 million from one year ago quarter. Now, that sounds nice on the surface level, but they grew revenue significantly from last quarter. It's like 200 something percent over last quarter alone because last quarter was only, I think, 2.2 million. So they grew revenues very quickly from last quarter because of all the Bitcoin mining. Six month revenue increased 124% to 10.4 million. So six month is great too. Three months ended. Okay, this is where it gets important. And we'll break down some of the income here in a second. CleanSpark more than doubled its comparative quarterly quarterly revenues with three months of 8.1 million. Net income for the three months ended March 31st was 7.4 million or 28 cents basic earnings per share and 22 cents fully diluted earnings per share can, uh, compared to a net loss of 5.8 or over a dollar loss last year. So this was a huge, huge increase. Now, compared to what analysts were expecting, analysts were expecting a two cent loss and they came in and beat by 30 cents. That's that's pretty big. Now, their adjusted EBITDA uh, was 
uh, it resulted in a non-GAAP net income for the three months ended of $1.1 million or $0.06 cents basic earnings per share. Now, a large majority of this revenue, the reason that they were actually positive was because of this unrealized gain of derivative security. So their revenue, their total revenues, uh, just from these revenues was about $8.2 million total costs and expenses were about 10.6 and then they had some other income. So they did have some other income which caused them to actually be net positive overall in the quarter, but they shouldn't be negative net income based on what they're doing now uh, in terms of mining for the quarters going forward. A large majority too of what they spent was on payroll. And I don't think this will scale up quite as quickly this next quarter compared to over this last year, pretty much tripled. And then also the professional fees, I'm assuming this is because of the lawsuits that are going on right now. There was a short seller that came out. It really sank the stock price a couple months ago. Also, they have been just acquiring a lot of Bitcoin miners. They've been doing a lot of business. So I'm guessing a lot of this is just lawyer fees. Uh, so that is something that isn't great. But, uh, you know, it's not something that I plan on having uh, at this scale long term. Then we have some general and administrative and some depreciation. So back to the numbers here. They more than doubled their competitor. Okay, we'll skip through that. They mined more than 144 Bitcoin. So around 90 days worth of mining. That is 1.6 a day. So even if we just do what we did that quarter and we continue it, so we don't even gain any more Bitcoin mining uh, ability, which we should. Let's just call it 57,000. Now that would be $91,000 a day times 90 days, we would have a Bitcoin mining revenue of 8.2 million as opposed to 6.7. Now, this should increase a lot. So again, I've talked about this in some previous videos, but they are acquiring a lot of Bitcoin miners right now. They should be up to six, six to nine Bitcoin a day by summer. And they are getting more miners for next year, some of which uh, they've been paying for some of this already, some of which I think they'll have to pay in the future. Uh, and they are expecting to get up to, I believe it's 18 Bitcoin a day by next summer. So that's where the numbers start to get a little bit crazy. Instead of 1.6, you type in six, right? So we won't get there by next quarter because again, that's going to be by August, late summer. Uh, we'll be up to six to nine, but let's say we're at four. Let's say we're at four and then we're at 60,000 for Bitcoin. It's about 240,000 a day times 90 days, that is about $22 uh, million. So think about that for a second. Think about the earnings per share on that. I mean, that's pretty impressive there. Once you start thinking about that, uh, off the top of my head, I don't know exactly what that would be. It would be, I think, around 60 cents earnings per share. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. I just pulled that uh, from, from the brain there. But take a look at their balance sheet. $160 million in cash about 5.7 million in Bitcoin, 115 Bitcoin. Total current assets, 178.5 million. Total assets, 292 million. Okay, pretty good. Let's take a look at their liabilities though. That's the important part. Nine million. Nine million worth of liabilities. They raised capital, they raised 200 million. And that was kind of like the fuel on the fire for the stock price going down because they already had the the lawsuits against them. They had a short seller report. They started raising money. But at the time I said, this is actually a good thing, I think. They're in a really strong position and they're acquiring more miners, which is the important part. What they are doing is they are mining like crazy and they're going to continuously raise their mining ability to the point where they're gonna be so profitable because this is a very high margin business. This is something that will be very profitable for them. Now they also talk about electric vehicles. So these are some of their these are some of their highlights here. They had the 200 million that they raised, our project to add 30 uh, MW of additional power to support additional CleanSpark Bitcoin mining operations is ongoing. So they're adding more power. They have rapid growth in the electric vehicle charging initiative. We now have 11 companies that are using our open ADR software solutions to aid in load management for EV charging stations and balancing the impact uh, that balancing the impact the increased power demand has on the traditional grid. So remember, they're a grid company uh, at heart. Now they have a large backlog. They have 
they just have a lot of backlog. Honestly, they haven't been able to uh, do a lot of the work that they're contracted. Their contracted backlog was 21.6 million as of March 31st. Now through May 6th, so basically uh, five weeks later, so they have another three million worth of backlog. So not bad, honestly. Three million over a month. That's not bad at all. I mean, that would be if they could actually keep up with that and they could actually do the work. That'd be 36 million dollars worth of revenue. So overall. We could project this out. I've done that in previous videos. Again, if we get up to six to nine Bitcoin a day, let's just say we can average six throughout the rest of the year from here until the end of the year, because let's assume that we can get up to nine by the end of the year. So six Bitcoin per day times 60,000, that is $360,000 worth of revenue times, uh, we'll just say 270 days left in the year. That would be about... 97 million dollars they had revenue of about 8 million or so this quarter i believe uh just from the page i looked at a second ago so 105 million over the year and you might be thinking that's that's really high well if you start looking at their ford pe their ford pe is six so they're expecting about uh, based on what i'm seeing here and this is kind of crazy like the ford pe for 2022 it looks like uh, fiscal period ending September 2022, they're expecting them to have net income of about a hundred million dollars. So they're expecting this to explode because the market cap's only 600 million. Analysts that only two analysts that are covering this expect huge earnings. And when you start looking at it and you start thinking, okay, it only costs about six to eight thousand dollars to mine Bitcoin, this is where the numbers start to get crazy in your head. Like if we look at not this year, but next year, when they're mining 18 Bitcoin a day, let's say Bitcoin goes up to 100K. We're just gonna do this in thousands because it's gonna make it a lot easier. 100K Bitcoin, they mine 18 a day. So they have about $2 million worth of revenue a day, 365 days in the year. This is not accounting for any of their other services. Look at that, $657 million? Are you kidding me? This is a high margin business too. So by the end of next year, could they be bringing in revenue of about what their market cap is now with a very high margin on that? Some people are saying CleanSpark's going 100 plus from where it is now. I, I'm not gonna say that that's gonna happen, but I don't think I'd be very surprised if it happened. Now, right now, there's just not much institutional money in it. A lot of people were worried because of the because of all the lawsuits. But you can see this pretty much peaked at the beginning of the year. It was highest $35 on January 6th. What was the price of Bitcoin then? The price of Bitcoin was about two thirds what it is now. So Bitcoin was at about 35, 39,000 then. We had a lot less bullish news on Bitcoin, less mass adoption. We also didn't have as good as much good news from CleanSpark either. We didn't have 200 million sitting around in cash. Like they had 2 million or something like that. Yeah, 2.9 million as of last year at this time. Are you kidding me? Uh, actually, as of September 30, 2020, so like six months ago or nine months ago, whenever that was, we have so much more cash. We have more revenue. Like we're... We're going to increase our Bitcoin mining revenue more than anyone expected by the next couple of months, by next year. This is just blowing out people's expectations or it should if they're really looking into the stock, but selling for half as expensive, less than that, because it was $40. So it's gone down 55% and there's a lot of good news. It's just, you know, a couple things here and there, lawsuit, short report, uh, some uh, capital raise, you know, everyone's selling out of the market. There's just been a lot of stuff that that's pushed this thing down. And right now, it's looking like blue skies are ahead. Now, there could be some things that negatively affect the stock. First of all, if someone goes and shorts it, obviously, it could push the stock price down a little bit. Long term, I don't see that as a real problem. The other thing that could happen is, you know, the lawsuit could come back. And, you know, they actually responded to this recently. They said they don't think there are going to be really any problems with it. They think that they have this I don't want to say in the bag, but they're very confident what in what they've done and they don't think that they've done anything wrong. But if it comes back and they they have done something wrong to shareholders, they've misrepresented what they've said, 
that could be bad. Also, if Bitcoin goes and crashes tomorrow, that could be bad. Uh, if there's some big scandal in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency or something, maybe that's bad. There are a handful of different things that could be bad for this stock and this company. But overall, I think this is really good. And the earnings were about what we expected in the community. Now, I didn't expect this high in net income, but I also just didn't really think that we'd have this 8.4 million from unrealized gain of derivative security. So I didn't think that we'd get that much. Uh, I didn't think that that would be something that we would see on this. So I thought we'd be pretty much zero or so because I thought a little bit higher revenue too. I thought we would get a little bit higher revenue. But overall, I'd say this is about what we expected. It's better than analysts expected. And it just sets us up really well for the quarters going forward because again, it seems like no one's looking anywhere past where we are right now. Like people are just saying, oh, it's a Bitcoin miner. It's a growth stock. I'm not going to put money in it. Start looking down the road a little bit. Just do me a favor. But a lot of the time with these Bitcoin companies or the cryptocurrency companies, people aren't giving them the benefit of the doubt. Like coin stock, it keeps on falling even though they produce massive net income. Now, that's very different from this where this I think is a little bit less risky because there's not like that race to the bottom or anything like that uh, where people are wondering whether these uh, exchanges can keep on making money as there's more and more competitors out there. But with this one, you know, if you can mine Bitcoin, Bitcoin's price is high, you're going to make money. <laughs> so th this is, is not financial advice, but take a look at this stock. I told my Patreon members about it. Honestly, if the price goes up 20% tomorrow, I still think it's a good buy. Honestly, I think under, under $30 is a decent price for this thing because of the amount of earnings that we're looking at going forward. And of course, there's some risk, right? There's some risk, like I stated there. And we might not see this thing move for a while. We could see three months of it sitting at the same price. But if we see them start mining for Bitcoin by next quarter or this quarter, and they give us an update or something like that, and Bitcoin stays at the price it's at, we're going to have some very good quarters ahead. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hitting the like button. If you want to see more of this or you want to hear more of this, you want to see what I'm doing every single day, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. Thank you guys for checking out Weebo and getting some free stock. It helps out the channel. And there's that link down there to BlockFi in case you want interest rate on your cryptocurrency. That helps out a lot too. I just put some more money in Ethereum and Bitcoin today. Thank you guys for doing that. And I will see you in the next video. Be on the lookout for a live stream tomorrow around noon Eastern time. So on Friday, noon Eastern time, check out uh, a live stream that we have going. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.